It has without question been a very fruitful group stage for them so far, but now they know that top spot in the group is within their compass. Can they hit the mark? The game is live in its entirety, only on EA TV next. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator. And alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And the prize at stake is not to be sniffed at. An opportunity to finish top of the group in this hard-fought section here at the Euros. Stuart, tell us about your pre-match thoughts. Thanks, Derek. Well, they're already through, but can they top the group in this final game? They've been good so far. They just need to keep it going. Let's hope they can. started really brightly here they were so close to taking the lead yes yeah, a really up and flow to the game end-to-end -end stuff all black with a simple stop and as we assess the table final match of the group stage and as we touch oh genuine chance my goodness that save fully stretched he was one for his own highlights reel again it's a well delivered ball into the box and what a header it is from Kane he just knows how to get on the end of crosses it's a really good goal again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and Kane wasn't going to miss that he knows exactly how to find a bit of space in the box he's a great player so back underway with the lead standing at 2-0 
take advantage. It's there for him. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. He's failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. Possession from England here. the half-time whistle well no one would volunteer to oppose Harry Kane when he's in this sort of form he's been magnificent Stuart well it's been an incredible performance from him clearly the difference between the two sides obviously the goals but his movement too he's causing the back line all sorts of headaches he'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Just watch this again. Look how Kane beats his man. And Kane's strike is absolutely perfect. Pace, power and accuracy. What a player he is.
And so the action continues with England very much bossing this game. just a lack of awareness. It was clearly in an offside position. available. As you can see, that's a great bit of skill. He times this so sweetly. What a good goal that is. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. Mark Guehi and Bellingham and he has options available but nothing comes of it not rich 20 minutes to go in this one and the 
pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. it again look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish well the game has been restarted 3-2 here Esri Konsa. Declan Rice. Phil Foden now. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. see here Kane gets beyond the challenge of the defender so easily and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is Well, as you can see here, the initial attempt is good, but his reaction is brilliant. He was so alert there.
Well, how about this? 4-3. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Well, time is ebbing away, and they're using this passing approach to ball as a bit. That's a lovely ball. It's offside, and perhaps he should have been a bit more alert. Maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. And it doesn't get much better than this for them, Stuart, in the group stage. Top spot is theirs. Well, over the course of this group, they've been the best team. They've played some attractive football, they've worked hard to win the ball back, and they deserve to be top dogs.